My name is uh, Giuseppe, Giuseppe Cortese. I'm from New Zealand and I'm sailing as a macropaleontologist on board uh, Expedition 374. This will be the core catcher sample, uh, which is the one that is located at the bottom of a 9.5 meter chunk of core. Core next! So, off we go. Now we bring it back to the left. <laughs> and this is the place where they live here. So it's all these little bowls and we try to break it down in, uh, in the size fraction that we are interested in. And then we put hydrogen peroxide to dissolve the, the organic matter. And then we put it on, uh, on a hot plate so that the reaction goes faster. It's like little sand in there. And that's the one that I want to actually get. And then I sieve it. I sieve it to, in this case, since my macro fossils are larger than 63 microns, I use this. This is a 63 micron sieve. And this is ready to go on a slide. And you see how it settles. And then I just fish in and get a little bit of it, avoiding the very thick stuff. And then eventually I spread it over, over the slides, over the cover slips, like that. And you can sort of see that there are some particles inside. And then we put it inside the tray to, to harden with uh, UV, with ultraviolet light. These slides are ready to be observed at the microscope. And then I can go and have a look at the microscope and see what's in them. So basically, you observe, you observe it with the transmitted light microscope. Once, once you, you document your species, you use studies that people have done already. These are called zonations for the different megafossil groups and in this case I have the main events of the zonations for radiolarians. This is a, a so-called last appearance. It's basically when that species got extinct. And, and I have different species which have been recognized as actually appearing or disappearing at a specific level in time and then people have calibrated that moment with, with paleomagnetism. So this is existing only in the time older than 2.4 and this is existing only in the time younger than 2.6 so you sort of do a fork in a way and you can tell that that sample is somewhere between 2.4 and 2.6 million years and paleontologists do this with many different fossil groups like my colleagues with the diatoms have a fantastic list of events that they can rely upon in this area which have been very well calibrated so they know they have a much a finer resolution than this and so they can tell almost exactly where we are in time within a, a few hundred thousand years which for this type of scale it's very 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 good and you integrate all these together and in that way you basically date the sediment you date each and every sample that we recover from the core catcher so we always know where we are in time as we are drilling so this whole process for some fossil groups like diatoms takes maybe 15 minutes. So within 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes of the core coming on deck, these guys can tell us exactly where we are.